Today, we're going to take a look at Shining 3D's two latest scanners, the Einstar 2 and the Einstar Rocket. Now, these are both technically the successor to the original Shining 3D Einstar, which was released several years ago. Now, the original Einstar was a structured light based 3D scanner from Shining 3D, which pretty much was just a showcase of what happens when a professional industrial company creates a product for the consumer market using all of their expertise. Now, unlike other products in that segment, which were consumer companies creating consumer products, Shining 3D's expertise, and really what the Einstar was known for was its easy to use software and strong reliability. So starting with the Einstar 2, as you can see, it comes in this nice patterned light gray case, kind of like the Einscan Rigel, which we've unboxed a couple months ago. Unzipping this front cover, we can see that inside we have a USB Type-C cable. Although this is a wireless scanner, you can use this long USB Type-C cable to tether it to your computer for stronger reliability. Also included in the box is this 65 watt USB-C wall charger, wall adapter with two USB-C ports. Very nice. Also included are two batteries. And yes, this thing has removable swappable batteries. These are CR22s, the same things we saw in the Einscan Rigel. And you get two of these things. So you can keep one battery fully charged and swap it out when your first one dies. Moving on to the scanner itself, this is the Einstar 2. As you can notice, this unit is a lot smaller than the original Einstar. This black piece right here is metal, and this blue part of the chassis is plastic. Now, as you can see, looking at this thing, we have the three, we have the three cameras up front, along with the projectors, the laser projector, the IR projector, yada, 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 along with the color camera. Looking at the body, we have pretty much your Typical Shining 3D interface, we have the three buttons that you're accustomed to up here. You have a play pause button to start and pause the scan. You also have a plus and a minus button that you can use to increase the brightness sensitivity amongst other things. Both this and its sibling have two status lights actually up top. Now it looks like one continuous ring, but actually the top and the bottom are split. The bottom is the power level and the top part is just like other Shining 3D scanners. It is a color-based system that shows you how far away you are from the object you're scanning. It'll show one color if you're too close and one color if you're too far and green if you're right on the money. I must say, I'm very impressed with the fact that this shrunk and it's wireless. The previous Einstar was probably about this big in total and that was a wired unit. It's amazing to see how much technology is shrinking down. This thing fits nicely in my hand, very easy to scan. It's relatively lightweight with a battery. This weighs about 420 grams. Let's check out other stuff in the box before I dive more into this brand new 3D scanner. We have the holder for the calibration board. We also have these markers. You get three millimeter and six millimeter markers. Also included in the box is a USB battery charger to charge these CR22 batteries and you can charge two at the same time. This also includes a USB-C to USB type A cable to plug this thing into the wall. On this side of the box we have the calibration board. This you will use to calibrate the scanner if you're having issues and inaccuracies. Shining makes this process very simple. You simply just put the board in the holder and the instructions on the computer will tell you exactly what to do. Pretty much you're just holding it at different heights and confirming said heights and the scanner does the rest of the work. Very easy. Also included in this side of the box, a carrying strap for the box itself. You can sling this thing over your shoulder and carry it around with ease. So now I'm gonna shove all of these things off to the side and we're gonna look at the Einstar rocket. We have the pretty much identical case. It just says rocket instead of Einstar 2 on the front, light gray, little soft, but rigid. So offers some nice protection and opening it up. It's identical, almost. The USB type C cable that we use for tethering and also charging actually is kept in a nice little black thin cardboard box right here. Additionally, you also have the same USB-C charging block. It's rated to 65 watts and it has two USB-C ports. Also included are two CR22 batteries. You have the calibration board holder, the three and six millimeter markers, as well as a battery charger. And again, on this side, you have 
your calibration board, and the strap. Let's check out the Einstar rocket, actually. So off the bat, it looks very identical. It just has black plastic instead of blue. And holding this thing, it's pretty much identical. I think there is a five gram weight difference between this and the Einstar 2, extra components and whatnot that I'm gonna dive into next. Another thing I did not point out on the Einstar 2 that both this Einstar rocket and the Einstar 2 have is a recessed USB-C cable port in the bottom. Why is that important? Why is that nice to have? Well, USB-C cables and USB cables in general can be kind of flimsy. There's no locking mechanism like DisplayPort or some HDMI cables. So they tend to wobble. And well, when you're trying to stream with a wired connection, the last thing you want is for that signal to drop out when connected to XStar Hub, the software that you use with the scanner. So this recess kind of protects the cable and prevents it from wobbling. How nice. The big thing with the Einstar 2 and the Einstar Rocket compared to the original Einstar is that these are blue laser and IR based scanners, also with RGB cameras as well. I believe the original Einstar had one as well, but this is a little bit different since the original Einstar was structured light. The biggest advantages to blue laser is not only just the accuracy, but the wider range of use that you have with it. When you have blue lasers, you can scan outside, you can scan in crazy different lighting environments. You can scan dark objects and reflective objects with ease. Now using a scanning spray like ASUB is definitely recommended, but you can get away with maybe 80% of the time, probably just scanning without any sprays. The Einstar 2 has 17 parallel lasers. The Einstar Rocket has a 19 by 19 cross pattern laser pickup, and as well as a seven parallel laser line mode for better pickup with smaller, more intricate details on parts. Both scanners can go down to 0.05 millimeter resolution, and they both have a pickup window, which is very important, of around two feet. It's 490 by 580 millimeters for both. There are some key differences, one being that this scans at two and a half million points per second, and this does 2.8 million points per second. So it's a little bit faster. And that's important to know because this one right here is $17.99, and this one right here, the Einstar 2, is $11.99. Now, what are you getting for the extra 600 bucks? The biggest thing that you get with the Einstar Rocket is marker-free laser scanning. The Einstar 2 does not have that. Now, I had to really dive in and look through all the spec sheets to make sure that I was reading this right. But yes, the Einstar Rocket is can be used marker-free in pretty much every mode. The Einstar 2, if you're going to scan a blue laser, you will need markers. It's important. Now, why should you care about this? Well. For ultimate convenience and speed, the Einstar Rocket is the one you should go with. You can scan virtually everything. You don't have to stick a bunch of markers on the part. You don't have to worry about losing tracking because of said markers. Now we will still recommend that you use global markers and stuff like that to make your scan easier for the best results. But for the most part, this Einstar Rocket is going to be easier to use and easier to set up in almost every scenario because you can scan without markers. I'm gonna keep re-emphasizing that because that is such a big feature, especially in this price range and in this bracket of consumer-oriented 3D scanners. Scanning without markers will save you tons of time. You also don't have to remove all those silly little markers from your part when you're done. Another thing to note is that these scanners are designed with a pretty wide range for size. These things can scan up to smaller desktop handheld objects. I believe a five millimeter object is the smallest thing that they recommend scanning with it. And these can scan up to 10 meter big objects. So you could scan trinkets and small stuff that fit on your keychain. And you can scan all the way up to a car pretty much with both of these scanners. And again, going back to marker-free scanning, if you're scanning a car, this is definitely going to be the one to go with. Unless you really, really, really want to put a ton of those little markers on your car to scan the whole thing, you scan a bumper. Well, it's going to save you so much time in prep in not having to put any markers at all. And it's going to save you afterwards because you don't have to remove those markers. For a product, these things are not cheap. This is $11.99 and this is $17.99. For a 3D scanner, it's quite a bargain actually, especially when you consider the fact that Shining 3D, again, is a professional industrial company that makes professional industrial metrology grade scanners. And they carry that expertise and that software and all of that into 
their entry level products like this. Think of it this way, buying another consumer grade 3D scanner made by a company that only makes consumer grade products is like buying cheap no name brand tires versus Michelin. Michelin has expertise in developing racing tires for endurance racing and all those other applications and they carry that expertise into their products like their Pilot Sport line of tires. And that is essentially what we have right here. You have the expertise from the professional scanners put into easier to access scanners like these, the Einstar Rocket and the Einstar 2. So, this is like having a baby professional 3D scanner. It's like having something like the Libre or the Rigel even, but at a fraction of the cost. This is a company that makes professional tools, giving you access to what it's like using a professional tool. Instead of having a consumer grade company that only has consumer experience, giving you a consumer product that might miss out on key features that you really only find in the upper echelon and the higher end use case, the extreme use case of 3D scanning. Einstar Rocket, marker free scanning. Einstar 2, also blue laser, but you will need some markers. Both of these have infrared scanning and both of these can capture color. And for this price point and for the ease of use for both of these scanners, I don't see why you should pick anything else. Now, if you're going to outgrow these things, if you're trying to use this for a professional use case, these things, you probably will outgrow them really fast. In which case, I would like to point you to the Einscan Rigel, which is a $5,000 fully wireless scanner with a screen. These things don't have screens. You will be casting these things to a computer. And that is going to be a better scanner in a more professional use case. Now, let's say you outgrow that. There's more. Let's say you need something with metrology grade capabilities. You have the free scan line. The free scan combo plus is my favorite scanner to use here because it acquires data so fast and so efficiently. That's why I use it for a lot of our projects here because time is money and I don't just 3D scan things. I run the YouTube channel. I run all these other things. And to fit that in in my schedule with something so, so efficient as Free Scan Combo Plus, it's great. On the next episode, we're going to have Joe 3D scan me and you're going to be able to download that file. You can pick up the Einstar 2 and the Einstar Rocket on our website at visionminer.com. And if you have questions about 3D scanning or 3D printers in general, let's say you want to know more about these two scanners or you want to know more about the professional line of scanners or professional 3D printers like our 22 IDEX, give us a call or shoot us an email at contact.visionminer.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments, what should I scan with either of these two scanners?